Whew. It is slowly turning into my favorite time of the year, which is fall. It's uh, early August. I'm a bit late putting this video out. I love this time of year. Fireweed is in full swing. We have hordes of fish coming up creeks now. Anywhere between reds, we got chum, we got silvers. But today I came for uh, a fish that most people don't target, which is pink salmon. Up here in Alaska, I feel like we become kind of salmon snobs. If you go to a store, all the fish that are canned are pinks, but for whatever reason, we don't want to eat them. I came here today not to catch these pinks for me, but to catch them for my dog. I'm going to try a little something by making some salmon treats or salmon jerky or dried fish or whatever you want to call it. If you go to the pet store, you can look and uh, spend $16 on a bag of dried fish or you can head down to one of these creeks that is just loaded with pinks, spend a day of it, bring the family, let the kids catch fish. There you go, buddy. There you go. Take some of these fish home and do it yourself. There are thousands and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of pinks right now, making it up streams anywhere between Hope all the way up to Tall Keetna, hardly any people target them to eat. And they just rot. They're just gonna go up the stream and rot and go to waste. I figured I might as well try something different, go and utilize these fish. The limit here is three. You can get three pinks. Three pinks, obviously in the mouth, nothing special. All you gotta do is get yourself your favorite color fly, a split shot or two, and uh, do a little Russian River flossing. We got no rain, it's nice, and we got a creek just chocked full of salmon. I'm gonna get things set up. I'm gonna put on just, like I said, a single fly, and about, oh, I don't know, a foot or so up from this fly, I'll put on probably two split shots due to how fast this current's going, cast it out, and see if I can get some homemade dog treats. That easy. Nice. Right in the mouth. Female pink. Whoa! Egg party. Anyways, I only need the one fish for this video. So, I think we'll be one and done with her. This place is absolutely bubbling. It shouldn't take you much longer than uh, 30 minutes or so to limit out if that was the case and you wanted to do it, she should work just fine. Thank you. All right, back in the garage. That was a blast. Even if you guys aren't doing dog treats, first off, I don't know how you made it this long in the video if you're not doing dog treats, but just for the sheer joy of letting your kids go and catch fish, like highly recommend just letting them go to town on these pinks. We, uh, stayed about another hour after I caught the fish that I was going to use for this video just because my kid wanted one more fish. He caught about six more, just one more fish. And we ended up coming home with one of those. He was interested in why one had a hump and the other didn't. So came home with two fish. This is the first time he showed interest in unhooking the fish himself and getting it back to the water and releasing it watching it swim off and getting getting excited to catch another one. So that was awesome to see. But now I'm uh, going to dress these fish. I already got out of the creek. Um, he was really interested in seeing what was going on inside the fish. He wanted to see the eggs and the liver and the heart and all that kind of stuff. So now it's time to fly it out. You're just going to do what you do with any fish. 
Make sure that you get all the bones removed. You don't want to be baking bones into these things. They cause a lot of problems with people, let alone dogs. So make sure that they are deboned. Cut them into nice thin strips. You have to realize the strips of fish are going to be reduced by about 50% once all the moisture is out of them. There's a whole gamut of things you can look up for recipes involving Greek yogurt and this and that. And the next thing is some sort of brine or marinade you can put these in. I'm just dehydrating them. Now, there's two ways that you can go about doing this. One is obviously with a dehydrator, which I don't have. I don't know how many people do, but I do know a majority of people have an oven. So I'm going that route. You're supposed to go anywhere between as low as your oven can go, which is in the 140s, all the way up to 200. This depends on how quickly you want to cook these things. I think the low and slow route is the way to go. It will release that moisture uh, a lot more evenly. You won't have a crispy outside and then a still kind of moist, almost baked fish inside. So I'm going to cut about inch long strips. Make sure all the bones are out. Put down some parchment paper or whatever it is you want to spray down there oil-wise so that the fish doesn't stick. Huge thing, keep the door of the oven cracked open. That gets that moisture out, lets it evaporate, makes it so that these strips turn into a jerky-like texture and not a baked fish texture. You set that at about three to four hours, check periodically, but other than that, it's almost to set it and forget it. I wouldn't walk away from your house with the oven on once it hits that jerky texture. Then put it at about 240 degrees for around 10 minutes just to nuke all the bacteria that could potentially be living on the fish. Salt and dogs don't mix, so there's no sort of preservative really that uh, you can put on these. Just make sure that you either make a small portion, vacuum seal it, or keep it frozen. Take out the portion that you want for that week or whatever, however long. Just uh, plan accordingly to make sure that these things don't go bad. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to shove these in the oven and uh, see how it turns out here in about four hours. All right, so these things have been in the oven now for about five hours. I bumped up the heat to about 190 degrees. I think I cut the strips just a little too thick, so lesson learned. I'm gonna pull them out, let them cool off, and have Jax be the final say on if these things turned out good or not. So let's pull them out, see how they look. That is crispy. Round two. Yesterday when I pulled those treats out, the consistency just wasn't right. It uh, almost looked like smoked salmon. There was still moisture in the fish. Uh, it didn't look like the strips that I envisioned. This morning I woke up and cut them into real thin strips, put them in the oven for about another two hours at about 190 degrees. Just let them do their thing. Let's see how they turned out. That's what I'm looking for. Nice, crisp pieces of fish. Still a little hot. Been letting them cool off for the last 30 minutes. It's not me that's the final judge. I need to get him over here. Jax, come, sit, down. Okay, shake, shake, shake. That doesn't work. Right. Here you go. That'll work. All right, guys. So go out while you still can. Have a day of it. Take the kids. Catch yourself some pinks. And just make some really good treats for your dogs. They'll love it. You'll have an awesome time. You'll get some of those fish off the banks that are just gonna sit there and rot anyways and make them into some really good treats for your dog for the winter. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.